former West Bromwich Albion teammates Richard Sneaks and Daryl Burgess couldn't be happier to see their former club remain in the Premier League. The pair, who run Total Football UK, a junior coaching business, were in Briley Hill to launch a new course. We've been going for about uh, three years now so uh, we're just trying to to expand uh, we're working at a school in in Dudley and uh, with Steve the chairman of Dudley town you know we've been trying to to set this up for for quite a while uh, we needed to wait for our uh, Dudley accreditation which was the Dudley seal which we finally got and then it was just you know finding a venue and, and and trying to set up the you know the aim is to uh, work with the club and trying to feed youngsters you know into the club so that they can have uh, more income stream yeah. and you know to to improve uh, you know players and, and work on, on kids development and uh, and you know we'll do what we think is, is right to uh, to bring bring players on you make of the season yeah no, it's been very good you know he's been uh, been really impressed with uh, but what has happened? Uh, I've said it before. You know, I think Roberto uh, has done a great job job there. You know, towards the end it didn't go to plan, and I think to be fair to the club, they uh, they made the right decision at exactly the right time. Uh, Mr. Hodgson came in and um, did ever so well. You know, he's gone back to to uh, to what he knows, and that's you know the defensive basics. Which is what they have done. Uh, they got some great results, and you know they were uh, they were uh, free from relegation about four or five weeks before the end of the season. So you know you've got to be happy with that. I think defensively, um, obviously uh, they've done well the last few games, but they could do being stronger there. Um, they've got a good midfield, um, and they need to score a few more goals. They've done well. Uh, I don't wing you up front, you know, but if you take him out of the equation, there's not too many more big goal scorers there. So um, hopefully they'll hold on to him. Uh, and add another one or two to play around him. The midfield was quite strong, I felt, this year in most games. And uh, defensively, it, it's tightened up. Um, so, you know, it's all there. It's all there to have a prosperous um, season next season. Are you confident the club will be able to, to hang on to the, pl the players they've already got? Th thinking of the likes of Odin Wingy, Brun, Malum. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've you know thought about uh, you know thought about Odin Wingy. You know, it's I didn't realise he was already 30. So uh, you know, if there's if there's a club willing to pay 10 million, what are you going to do? Are you going to hang on to him and, and try and keep him, or are you going to cash in on the 10 million? And, and buy, you know, maybe another experienced player from somewhere and a young player that you can uh, develop. So, you know, that's, you know, luckily that's not up to me, it's up to the club to uh, to try and do that and, and um, make, make the right uh, decisions on that. Is Malumbu perhaps more of a worry at, at, at 24 as a... Yeah, I think, he's, I think he's done really well. You know, he's, uh, when he first came, he, uh, you know, he is a bit part player. Um, since then, you know, for me, he's been one of the most consistent, you know, good player. I spoke to somebody the other week, oh, you know, he gives the ball away a lot. Well, I've never seen him giving him by the ball away when I've watched him. So, at 24, yeah, that's the sort of players that you need to hang on, you know, hang on to, to, uh, to establish and to build for the future. But then again, you know, if somebody came in, it's nowadays a lot of player power, isn't it? It's what the players want, not so much what the club wants. The contract doesn't mean anything. You know, when we were playing, you never heard about interest from other clubs. So you just, you know, got about your business and, and continued, whereas now, you know, they know of interest from other clubs before the club even know, and uh, yeah, it's difficult. You know, it's, it makes your head spin, and you know, if you can go to to a club that's in the Champions League, then you, know, you might want to force a break. I don't know. From what you've seen, how, how far can this team go with a with a bit of strength? In it? I think I think you could be looking for. You know, f it's tough because it, you know you're not you're not. You know, you can't see them breaking into the top four or six. Uh, but having said that, you look at the likes of Stoke, put a few good results together, strong, tough to beat. It's quite easy to get, you know, well, easy, it's not easy, but it's quite possible to get to get the top ten and stay around the top ten. And then a couple of decent results and then all of a sudden you can be up to eighth and stuff. But you know, I think I think survival is paramount again, which is what they all look for. Um, it, you know, important to stay up. Um, but there's no reason why they should be looking over the shoulder. Hopefully this season coming we'll be looking mid-table and above. And from what you've seen, is, is Roy the right man to, to build on 
on these foundations, do you think? Well, you can only look at the results he's gained so far, and the results he's gained so, so far, you know, have been great. Um, the team's hard to beat, as I say, they're not conceding many goals, um, and they're scoring goals. So, you know, he, he, he looks, I, I think he's a good manager for a club who haven't got a lot of money. Uh, he's done it at Fulham, uh, and he looks like we'll do it again at West Brom. Buses are available for reception through to year two pupils, and anyone can take part without pre-booking. Each session costs £4. For more information, call 0844 779 4625 or visit www.totalfootballuk.com.